All right, it is Singapore week here on Living 808. Now, there are lots of similarities between Singapore and Hawaii. Both are considered melting pots of different, different cultures. That's right. Both have warm tropical weather, uh -huh. a variety of Asian inspired cuisine. Mm -hmm. And, Tony, here is something that you'll appreciate. They've even got their own version of pigeon, it's called really? Singlish. And uh, now, similar to pidgin, Singlish is a combination of English and multiple South Asian languages like Malay, Mandarin, Tamil. Wow. Now, here's some of the most popular Singlish sayings. Okay. First up, and I please, I apologize in advance for mispronouncing any of this. A okay. gundu, a gundu, which means a stupid. Oh, that's easy right there. <laughs> Charlie, you so low low. <laughs> there you go. That's, uh, that's the pigeon. That's the local yeah, yeah, way of yeah, saying yeah. it, right? Hey, Charlie, you so low low. low. <laughs> I love it. Good. Okay, se second, capo. Capo. It's used to scold someone in order to discourage that behavior. Now, Tony, do you have a pigeon word for this? Oh, that's easy. Like, especially if it, your child is acting up. Yes. And it's a, a male. Yeah. Boo, you better put that down. I'm going to slap your face. <laughs> Well, you can't do that now. You get arrested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but back when we yeah. were growing up. Crack. You like me crack you in your you, head. You like cracks. Yeah. You like cracks. Yeah, you need cracks. Yeah. Okay, third. Well, discourage it. Yes. <laughs> third, shook. Shook, which describes anything that provides extreme pleasure, especially food. This is a word that I heard a lot of while in Singapore. Mm -hmm. We would eat something, and our tour, uh, tour guide would say, that's shook. Shook. Ooh, so you, oh, I like choke extra gravy. The thing tastes so oh no. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So I'm doing the singlish version. He's doing the pigeon version. <laughs> and I love your whole in character. Yeah, you gotta get, oh, but the extra gravy was mean. Was, oh no. So you <laughs> I love it. Okay, next we've got. Rojak, Rojak, which means jumbled and disorganized. Kimo, when you power the toilet, put the toilet seat down. <laughs> the dang thing stay. Oh, hammer jang. Hammer jang. Kapakahi la that. <laughs> I'm going to divorce you, Kimo. <laughs> I love it. Hammer jang. Hammer jang. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. And finally, Die, die, must try. Die, die, must try. Here's an example. After going to a new restaurant, your friend may call you and say, that restaurant makes the best laksa in Singapore. Die, die, you must try. Oh, when I went to International Marketplace <laughs> at this new restaurant, oh, the food was unreal. Choke, choke, broke your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Broke the mouth. Broke your mouth. Yeah, broke you, the mouth. that doesn't make sense though, right? It's broke so good, your mouth broke off. <laughs> <laughs> right, who broke. came up with the pigeon? Bro yeah, bro I don't know. broke your mouth. Lana. Broke the mouth. I like it. Wow. Thank you for that. Interesting segment. Thank you for those translations. Yeah, and I'm sorry that I have to move. <laughs> it just. It's that part of it, the vernacular. That just made it even better. Right, yeah. All right, coming okay. up on Living 808, we are with Noi Thai Cuisine for today's Hawaii's Kitchen.